Hello, I'm Helen Bradley and welcome to this video tutorial. Today we're looking at adding a background to a pattern that you've created in Illustrator. So I have a new document open here, it doesn't matter what size it is. Going to the ellipse tool because I'm going to create a pattern piece that I can use. So I'm going to create a dot that has quite a large stroke around it, probably about a nine pixel stroke. Now we're not actually going to be able to see that stroke because the stroke is white. But let's go and create a pattern from this with object pattern make. I'm quickly going to create a brick by row pattern. I've got a half offset. Let's increase the size here. I think that looks like a pretty good pattern and so I'll just click done. Let's get rid of our circle. So we have a pattern piece up here in the swatches panel. Of course, when we add it to a shape, we're just going to get the pattern fill and it's not got any background behind it. It's also got one of those fracture lines in it right now. So we'll get rid of that in just a minute. But if I want the pattern to actually take a background with it, this is what I'm going to do. I'll drag the pattern piece out of the swatches panel and into the document. And typically you'll see two rectangles around your pattern, one selecting the entire pattern element. And this one in here is what's called a bounding box. It's a bounding box that we want. In some cases with some patterns, the border to the pattern will be the same as the bounding box, but it doesn't usually happen that way. So I'm going to the Layers panel here and I'm going to select this object here, which is a group. Inside the group are the elements that go together to make my pattern at the very end of it is this no fill, no stroke rectangle. You see it has no fill and no stroke. It's marking out the border of our pattern. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to drag this onto the new icon so that I have my bounding box here and then I have a duplicate of the rectangle immediately above it. Now the one I need to select is the one that's not at the very bottom. Don't fill this one at the bottom or your pattern's going to break. It has to be the next to bottom one. So I have this selected. What I'll do is go to its fill and let's go now and fill it with a color. So I'm going to fill it with this color here. You can see that the color doesn't stretch over the, all the pattern pieces. That's exactly as it should be. So now I'll go back, deselect everything by just clicking outside everything. I'll go back and select my pattern and I'm going to drag and drop it into the swatches panel. If I want to replace this original pattern, I would hold the Alt or Option key and just drop it over the top of the original pattern. And now the background is part of the pattern. Now we do have a fracture line issue here. So I'm going to choose Object Transform Scale and I'm going to make it a uniform scale. I don't want to transform the objects. I do want to transform the pattern. And I'll just start decreasing the pattern a little bit until those lines disappear. You can tell that those are the Illustrator fracture lines because they're disappearing and reappearing in different places. If they were actually a problem with the pattern itself, they wouldn't disappear. They would be consistent all the way through. But these will actually disappear and reappear depending on the size of the pattern that you have in use. You can also help get rid of them by choosing Edit and then Preferences General. Of course, on a Mac, that would be Illustrator Preferences General and Disable Anti-Alias Artwork and click OK and that generally knocks them out. So that's how you would go ahead and create a background to a pattern in Illustrator. Drag the pattern swatch out of the swatches panel into your main document. Locate the bounding box which will be on the inside of the pattern objects and will also always be at the very bottom of the group that comprises your pattern. Make a duplicate of it. Make sure that you fill the duplicate that is immediately above the no fill, no stroke rectangle. Once you've filled it with color, you can just drag everything back into the swatches panel and you have a pattern that has a fill color behind it. I hope that this has helped you understand how to create backgrounds for patterns in Illustrator. If you did enjoy the video, please give it a thumbs up and click that subscribe button to subscribe to the channel. And if you hit the notification bell, you'll be alerted when I release new videos. Until next time, my name's Helen Bradley. Thank you so much for joining me here on my YouTube channel.